So today was the official reveal for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, but really we knew this game was going to be happening for three years now. Ever since Modern Warfare 2019, we knew that they were going to make a sequel, especially since it became the best-selling Call of Duty of all time and Warzone and all that stuff. Obviously, they were going to make another one. And the hype for this game is absolutely insane. I remember the last time I've seen so many people hyped up for the new Call of Duty game. It's been a while, probably since Modern Warfare 2019 actually was the last time I seen this much hype. It actually reminds me a lot of the excitement a lot of people had a year ago for a game called Battlefield 2042, but we all know how that turned out. So that's why I decided to make today's video, not necessarily talking about Modern Warfare 2 itself, what I thought about the trailer, whether or not I think the game's gonna be good or bad, because the truth is I have no fucking idea how the game's gonna be until I actually get my hands on it, until I'm actually playing it, until I have access to the beta. They usually don't do COD betas until mid to late August, so that's really when I'm gonna start to formulate an actual opinion on the game. Because really the only reason why you have video game trailers in the first place is for marketing purposes, to get you hyped up, to get you to pre-order the game, to give them money. Same thing with movie trailers too. How many god-awful movies had an amazing trailer? Morbius is a good example. The trailer for Morbius looked pretty fucking sick and even showed Michael Keaton at the end. It looked like he had a big role in the movie and it turned out no, he only was in it for like five seconds. And the movie ended up being an absolute train wreck. Nothing like the trailer made it out to be. When these companies put out these trailers, they're not trying to inform you of the product they're giving you. They're only going to show you what they want you to see and what they think is more likely to get you to fork over seven without even seeing a minute of gameplay. It's no coincidence that once these trailers come out, all of a sudden the game's available for pre-order. Hmm. Going back to Battlefield 2042, how amazing did that trailer look? The game looks so interesting based off of that trailer with the gliding, the tornado, all the shit going on at the screen at one time. It really looked like one of the best Battlefield games we've had in years. But as we all know, when that game actually came out, it ended up being one of the biggest disappointments in video game history. And that's no exaggeration. As polarized as the video game community can be when it comes to a lot of games, like Modern Warfare 2019 was very divisive. You either loved it, or you hated it. But with Battlefield 2042, everyone fucking hates that shit. I'm gonna see one person in the comments being, I like Battlefield 2042. There's always gonna be one person that feels like they have to go against the popular opinion no matter what, just to get attention. But 2042 is one of those games that's just objectively bad. Right up there with Hong Kong 97 and Ride to Hell Retribution. But that's the funny thing. I made a video talking about why you should not pre-order Battlefield 2042 back when the trailer for that game came out. Basically saying the same stuff I'm saying today, that you can't know, you don't know what a game's actually gonna be like just off the trailer. You won't know until you actually get to play it. And it's very foolish to just give them your money before they even earned it. That's all I said in that video, and it ended up getting almost more dislikes than likes, which is insane because now that like time has passed and the game actually came out and we know what Battlefield 2042 is, I'm sure those 700 people that left the dislike button feel like fucking idiots right now. You barely have 700 people playing Battlefield 2042 right now. But back then, people were really into the hype, and the thing is, Battlefield, even despite how disappointing Battlefield 5 was, it was in a much better place back then than the Call of Duty series is in right now. And look, I don't care if you liked Modern Warfare 2019. That doesn't mean that you're gonna like the second game. I give you a good example from my own personal experience. I loved Modern Warfare 2, it was one of my favorite CODs of all time, actually the first COD I ever played. And I was so hyped for MW3, then when I got to play Modern Warfare 3, I fucking hated it. I thought it was just such an underwhelming game, it felt like a copy and paste of Modern Warfare 2, and just didn't do anything different, like it just didn't feel like it needed to exist. And I regretted paying the $60 pre-ordering the game before I knew what the game actually was, and if I was even gonna like it. And I'm sure there are people out there that are like, what are you talking about, dude? Modern Warfare 3 is one of the greatest CODs of all time. That's fine. You can think whatever you want about whatever games. I think that Modern Warfare 2019 is one of the worst CODs of all time, but people watching this video might think it's one of the best. But that's kind of irrelevant to the greater point here. You are giving these companies your hard-earned money without knowing what you're going to get. That's just fucking stupid, I'm sorry. If you pre-order games in 2022, you need to get your head examined. There is no reason for it. We do not, it's not like back in the day where all games were on a disc and you had to reserve your copy or else you weren't gonna get anything for weeks because, you know, the games were in limited supply. No, everything's fucking digital now. So what's the point of pre-ordering? Pre-ordering video games in 2022 serves no functional purpose aside 
from giving guaranteed money to corporations that hadn't actually earned it yet. That way they can churn out whatever shit they fucking want because, well, they're gonna make guaranteed money anyway, so what's the fucking difference? They can release a broken, shitty-ass game on launch day and just fix it later. That's what happened with Cold War. That's what's happening right now with Vanguard. Modern Warfare 2019 was actually a pretty complete game when it came out, but it's like rolling the fucking dice, you know? Like, why take an unnecessary risk? Just so you can get some silly fucking skin on Warzone? Use common sense, people. But even if the trailer looks so amazing, you're like, yeah, this game looks so good, I'm gonna pre-order it. With Modern Warfare 2, and with the other Call of Duty trailers, to be fair, it, it, the first trailer is always single-player focused. They don't show multiplayer until after, and that's pretty much what happened here. It's mostly single player focused and uh, thing is though most of your value from call of duty is not gonna come from the single player campaign it's gonna come from the online multiplayer so even if the campaign turns out to be as amazing as it looks to be in the trailer it doesn't mean the actual full game is gonna be good i'm sure everybody watching this video has had at least one experience where they did pre-order a game paid full price for it months in advance and then when they actually got the game, felt like they got robbed of their money. The definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. That's what you're doing when you're pre-ordering video games. So please stop fucking doing it because people like you that pre-order video games, you're not only causing damage to your own wallet or your parents' wallet, but you're also causing the entire downfall of the video game industry and the quality of video games because you're just throwing away your money without these developers and publishers proving to you that what they're creating is actually worth anything. And again, I don't give a fuck if you liked Modern Warfare 2019. It doesn't mean the second game's gonna be good. How many sequels to how many games ended up being so much worse than the original? There are hundreds of examples of that. So if you have half a brain, do not pre-order Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2.